Good morning. We've got our outfit of the day on. As I promised, I was going to wear this turtleneck top, and so we've got it going on with these just, ooh, I just found 30 bucks in here. The denim khaki, this khaki denim, and um, we need a jacket. Is this weird? Kind of goes with the like beige brown vibe. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go run to the post office to drop off a Poshmark package that I sold. So let's go. Okay, I just got home from dropping off my package and I decided I wanted to buy this book um, called Designing Your Life by Belle Burnett. I actually used to have it. I picked it up at one of my free little libraries, but I lost it. Like, I think I brought it on a trip somewhere and I must have left it because it is nowhere to be found. This is the book and I just got the Kindle version since I have a Kindle now. And yeah, as you can see, I just bought it for $9.99, so yeah. During my lunch break, I started doing some of the exercises from the book. Um, I did the very first one, which basically helps you gauge where you're at in certain areas of your life, health, work, play, and love. And so I started just assessing each of those areas of my life and giving them a rating one to four. And so for health, I put one. I just, I not, I feel not very healthy. Um, I've had a lingering cold for the last two weeks. I need to go get my annual physical. I didn't get one this year. And also I just don't work out very frequently. I'm not a healthy eater. So there's just so much room for improvement. And I think like my mental health is fine, but spiritually I love to like meditate more. So for that reason, I gave my health a one out of four. For work, I gave myself a three and a half out of four, which I thought ranked really high. I love my nine to five. I love my job. I find it super fulfilling. Not only do I believe in what my company does, but I just really love my team. And I feel like I'm recognized and well compensated for my talents and skill set. In play, I rank this one out of four. I just feel like my fun outlet, which has for so long been this YouTube and millennial money honey in general, it's been my outlet for fun, but I'm just feeling a little bit lost as to how to continue to make it fun and playful for me. I find thrifting really fun, which I think has been showing up in this content. I just don't really know how to translate it into the money space. And I think I really need to figure out this situation, this play situation as I approach early retirement in the next few years, really honing in on what brings me joy out of play. So again, I rank this one out of four. And then for love, I rank three out of four. I love my family. I love my boyfriend. I love just all of the relationships that I have in my life. I think it's in a pretty healthy, decent spot. That's kind of my gauge. Again, really low on the health and play aspects. So that's sort of what I'm trying to figure out by doing this book and working through all these exercises. That was my lunch break and then I proceeded to do some work, which lots of boring work here. So here's a clip of me at my computer. After work, I drove to Costco because I needed to fill up gas and do a little bit of grocery shopping. Dang it, I always forget to vlog. Now I'm driving home from Costco and yeah, dang it, I suck at this. Okay, I just went, got back from Costco and I 100% forgot to vlog everything, but I got gas and I did a grocery run only going to be here for like another week or so and we're going to my boyfriend's parents house this weekend so we didn't need to get that much stuff but somehow it still ended up being like 200 dollars. so here's what i got protein powder got this for my boyfriend for hanukkah he needed more protein powder so this is like 65 dollars. protein powder is so freaking expensive like i did not know these are easy meals the vietnamese pho and they were on sale for $10. Um, I don't know, I was just craving pecans. I think it was my mistake to shop on an empty stomach and I always get the like sweet 
pecans from um, Trader Joe's, so I thought this was a better alternative, and it was $15. Um, just got some teriyaki sauce. I think this would be good to marinate our chicken breasts in, um, and then air fry them. Apples, rotisserie chicken. Oh my gosh, I like always grab one of these. These so easy to toss over salad. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for dinner is this over a salad mix. For some reason, my Costco was all out of eggs. So that was weird. Sweet kale double bag mix. The salmon was on sale. So I'm gonna make salmon this week. Got a spring mix and tortilla soup. $4.30, so that was really good. <coughs> Gas was only like $4.30 at my Costco, which is really good. Um, and I paid like $50. So yeah, that was my Costco haul. Easy. The easiest dinner is taking rotisserie chicken and putting it on a salad. Cheese. A little salt, pepper, adding some Caesar salad dressing. Ta-da! Oh, and I have some crispy onions from Thanksgiving. Total for that Costco trip came out to $196.19. And for gas, I spent $50.08. Gas was $4.30 a gallon at my Costco, which I haven't seen it that low in ages. So I think that was a steal. So for today's grand total, I spent $256.26. I've still spent like under $500 for the entire month so far, but we are only on day six. Stay tuned, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll talk more money, honey.